Hey guys, it's Amy. I was tagged by the lovely Cat L to do the luxury diary tag. I think the tag was originally created by Monsieur Alex. Um, I don't follow him, but I will, and I will try to link down below their videos. So the first question is, what bag would you replace if all the ones you currently have disappeared? Oh my goodness. Um, by the way, I did not prepare for these questions, so I it's pretty spontaneous, I suppose. Or I guess I'm gonna think about it a little bit. Oh my gosh, if I lost every bag that I have, let me take a look. I love LV bags because of their durability and how carefree they are, especially their canvas bags are so so good for that and it's so casual. Um, but I also love my leather bags because, I don't know, they're just like a statement piece. It's a pretty close one between um, my Celine trapeze and the Chanel jumbo flap. Mine is the single flap so it is a pre-loved one. I did get it pre-loved. And the reason why I'm picking this one over all the other bags is, is because how versatile this bag is. This bag fits quite a bit. Um, because it is also a single flap, um, it is easier to get in and out of and it fits slightly more than the double flap. And I just love that this bag can be dressed down quite easily and also dressed up. So I feel like I can get away with so many situations with this bag. Question number two is what jewelry or accessory item is the most sentimental or special to you? That is actually pretty easy and my answer would be my wedding band and my uh, engagement ring because I mean I think it's pretty self-explanatory but if I had to pick something else because it's obviously way too easy to pick my wedding ring and uh, you know engagement ring I would pick my ruby jewelry so here you go this is something that I bought uh, for myself on my 30th birthday this is ruby with diamonds on white gold and um, I even bought, it's not really matching, but I guess it matches because it is also made of ruby. Ruby is my birth month stone. So this is um, a pair of ruby earrings. I don't wear it as often anymore, but I still love it and I still wear it from time to time. So it's in a heart shape with uh, diamonds all around and white gold. And the reason why I picked this one is because, again, it is a huge milestone in my life. I, I, I had just turned 30, I bought it for myself uh, when I turned 30. And at the time, I was going through a lot of just challenges in my life. Big part of it has to do with my personal health and just sort of like a reminder and also like a celebration of my life, the fact that I, I'm still living and that I, um, you know, I got myself to the point where I was relatively healthier and continued to be healthy so I picked this one and plus ruby is just like my one of my favorite stones aside from diamonds uh, I, the color is just superb it's red red is my favorite color number three is if you could teleport anywhere one day to shop where would you go I think I'm gonna choose Paris um, and only because even though I just recently came back from a Europe trip and we did go to Paris, um, although it was quite short, we, only, we were only there for three days, uh, I felt like it was just way too short. I didn't really have the chance to really shop thoroughly, um, whether it was just like street shopping or like high-end shopping. I just felt like I mean, I had the chance to visit some of the stores that I wanted to go to, um, but it wasn't enough. I, in fact, I didn't even get the chance to look at the flagship LV store, which is like, hello, that's a must do, right? But I actually didn't get a chance to see it. Um, I did, however, get the chance to go visit the 31 Rue Gambon store, the Chanel store there. Uh, but again, we didn't really have time to stay and to like, really browse and well actually line up to try to buy something so I would definitely definitely want to go back teleport myself to Paris and I don't know I I love shopping by myself or with people who are like-minded who like the same stuff that I do um, I would love to just go back either by myself or with some girlfriends that love luxury goods as well and number four what do you think is the biggest misconception about luxury youtuber or instagrammers um, 
okay i guess you could consider myself as a luxury youtuber i guess even though i i don't know i i love everything i love certain things that are luxury but i also love you know just high street and like whatever is comfortable to me or that appeals to me i love um but i guess even just as a YouTuber in general, I don't know, we're just normal people and maybe other people feel that because you're on YouTube, because you put yourself on YouTube that they can treat you a certain way, you know, disrespect you or just like hate or, or say things to hurt you or maybe not even to hurt you, they, they just say things because they think that, you know, you should be able to take it but you know what, we're just human beings, just the same as you of course you know it's not everybody like that and there's only really a smaller number of people who you know are really negative or are just like trollers or whatnot um but yeah i i guess even in general i think when you in conversations i'm sure people just say things like being a youtuber that you know he should be able to accept these kinds of criticism or whatever i don't i don't believe in that i i totally don't i just think that we're people and that you know I'm just the same as you and you're the same as me so that's what I'm saying <laughs> that we're not really different in any way really number five what is the one store that makes you feel the most special or excited when you go in I think this question is really difficult for me to answer because I don't know if I feel excited about going into any particular store anymore I mean I do I mean I still love going to LV, I still love going to Chanel but at the same time I don't know if I feel as excited I don't feel that the level of customer service is where I want it to be yes I am I guess a luxury youtuber or I love my luxury things and I I love whatever is beautiful that appeals to me but I'm not one to always buy and I think sometimes that's what sales associate kind of expect you to do or at least I feel like maybe in Vancouver I'm not sure everywhere else but I feel like sometimes if you just go in without buying if you're just going in to browse then it kind of I don't know I guess they build a certain image or a certain um I guess they also build a certain image of me or of people like me that don't always end up buying but because something sometimes I'm just researching and I, I can't possibly buy every single time I go right it just is not possible and that's not something I want to do it's not something that I do and so I don't actually feel that the level of customer service every time is as good as it should be perhaps it has more to do with a specific instance not necessarily the store per se for me uh, so for example if i just happened to go into lv and i bought something that day and i had a great experience or even if i didn't buy something and i had a great experience and on that particular day that day would have made me quite excited and happy to have visited them and it could be chanel or it could be lv or it could be celine nordstrom it just really depends on the days. Number six, what is one item you thought you would never own in your lifetime and now you do? Oh my gosh, why are these questions so hard? I think at one point, um, every single item I own now, I never thought I would own. And seriously, I, I used to be that person who doesn't understand how you can spend that amount of money on I don't know a bag or a scarf or a pair of costume jewelry or whatever like it just never occurred to me that's like something that I would ever want to do because I think that's outrageous I thought that was outrageous but now I understand because luxury is just I don't know it's almost like you evolved it's almost like you've come to terms to sort of accept that it's okay to treat yourself and it's okay to buy something super nice and super high quality and where the brand has so much history and um, uh, there's so much thought into getting making this item and the people who made it anyway I digress I think for me um, maybe I'll have to cheat a little bit but I actually have three bags where I thought I never would have gotten never thought i would have gotten my first celine trapeze bag i never thought i would have 
gotten my 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 Chanel jumbo or my mini. In fact, I I had a reissue a long time ago, but at that time, that's also where I was struggling a little bit to sort of accept the price of such a you know a classic bag that is that I don't even use that much and that fits like so little. So um, at the time, I was kind of struggling with that notion of owning something so expensive and so exclusive and so um, luxurious that it didn't feel right but now I feel I feel it's right and it's okay it still shocks me but it's okay number seven describe your style in three words I would say classic uh, effortless I also wanted to say edgy sometimes but I do think that I it's more like classic with an edge so I that's why I use effortless because I think effortless also can be very minimalist sometimes and slightly edgy sometimes so that's why I say effortless number eight a luxury brand that you try to love and get into but you can't I actually don't know because I don't know if I've tried hard enough to love a brand but couldn't get into you know what I mean um, I mean I have bought stuff from Gucci. I, I still love their stuff but it's just... Um, I guess their style is slightly different from my style because Gucci for me is a little bit more wild uh, whereas my style is a little bit more simple if that makes sense. So maybe Gucci um, I'd say Fendi, but to be honest, I never actually really made an effort to try to get into Fendi. I just really never really got into it yet. Uh, but let's just say Fendi, Gucci, um, Yves Saint Laurent as well. I've, I, I don't know if I've tried hard enough to get into it. If you could spend one day with any designer, who would it be? Um, Coco Chanel just because she's um, I don't know she's done so much to sort of evolutionize uh, feminine fashion and the fact that she came up with the blazer suit for women to wear and pants and um, I don't know hats and and just like crossbody bags and things like that uh, I think it's fascinating and I think the style that she has or I, the way I see it anyway is very classic, very timeless but also very effortless which is something that I love and is also I guess I guess my style is kind of like that. The last question number 10 confess what is next on your wish list? My wish list is this long and I, I never really follow it um, but what I would really like to get is um, actually a medium classic flap because I want something for evening wear that fits slightly more than the mini bag that I have. Right now I'm using my mini flap as my evening bag. So that's it for my tag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know some of my answers are kind of ambiguous and vague just because it's really hard to, to, to give an answer. I, I can't. Sometimes I just don't have that kind of preference and would be okay either way if that makes sense. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to tag a few people down below. I know a lot of people have done it. I've been away for quite some time. It's also why I'm kind of behind on filming all those tag videos that I want to do and also even my vlogs. I haven't even had the time to upload or edit any of the rest of my Europe trip which is terrible. I want to do them because I love vlogs and I love editing vlogs so I must do it right after this one trip so nevertheless I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video and I guess I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!